So to fix a squeaky carpeted floor um, or some squeaky stairs that have carpets on them, then we would use the stop squeak screw kit with this special adapter that's designed for carpeted floors. Now the, the kit is, is rather special because it comes with these two adapters. This one's for carpet, this one's for hardwood floors, traditional floorboards, um, even laminate floors. The idea behind the screw kit is we want to be able to fix the subfloor the squeaking that's coming from the subfloor, but without removing the floor surface and without actually removing the furniture. So the first thing you need to do if you're fixing a carpeted floor is identify where the joists are. Now, you don't have to find the joists, but it does uh, help and it's, it's, it's often the best place to start. We include a joist finder screw that you would screw into the carpet and this will basically go right through the ply. And if you're not hitting a joist, it will just go through. You pull it back out until you find the joist. You then mark out 400 mils to the right, 400 mils to the left. That's where your joist would be. You mark it out with tape, then you're ready to go. So let me show you how we actually fix um, the, the subfloor with these screws. Now, these screws are special for a number of reasons. First of all, if you put a screw into loop pile, typically it'll unwind the carpet, but these are coated with a special um, material that stops it binding into carpet. Second of all, the uh, threads on these screws change at the very top, so it's designed to pull the plywood into the joist to prevent the squeaking and the movement. Finally, these are scored screws, and what that means is when we put these in, the screw is actually going to break off below the surface of the carpet and even just below the surface of the subfloor. What it will do is it will, it will pull the, the plywood down into the joist, break off, just leaves a small pin in the hole and an invisible fix. So let me show you how easy this is to do. You screw it down as far as it will go until this starts slipping. You take the screw gripper and you simply rock it back and forth and that's it. Now the best bit about this is, as you can see, the screw has broken off. There's no markings left on the carpet, but also we haven't screwed the carpet down. The carpet's free to move, but the subfloor is now being re, you know, rebonded down to the joists. And you would do this in the areas where the floor is squeaky until all the squeaks are gone. So that's how you fix a carpeted floor or a carpeted staircase with the stop squeak screw kit. If you have a traditional floorboard with exposed pine floorboards or hardwood floors like this and they're creaking, the way to fix it would be to put screws into the floor um, and through into the joists. The problem is, is that nobody wants big sort of shiny screws in their floor. So the Stop Squeak Screw Kit allows you to fix these kinds of floors, uh, but much more discreetly in a way that you, you barely notice the, the, the screw going in. The way it works is that these screws um, have two threads on them. Uh, the, the, the thread here is designed to pull the board down into the joist. So the thread, the thread dimensions are slightly different. And also this is a scored screw. And what that means is when it goes into the floor, it's going to snap off just below the surface of the wood. And what it will leave you with is a small indent indentation, much, much more discreet than a screw and you can just fill the indentation with some wood filler um, and fix your floor that way. So I'm going to demonstrate how we do this. We use the depth control um, device that's included in the kit. We have uh, two depth control devices, one for carpets and one for floors like this. You put your screw into the depth control device and then you just screw it through until it breaks. you hear the snap you take it off and that's what you're left with as you can see the board is fine and what we've done here is we've put a screw in and it's gone through and now it's binding this board to the subfloor but it's leaving no screw mark there's just a small hole about three to five mil deep you just fill that with wood filler and you're done. So that's how you fix a traditional wood floor with stop squeak screw kit.